Sarah Rowan, so today I'm doing a video to review this Seabooth lotion that I got from an influencer. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, normally when influencers send you a product to review um, for free, normally you do get the products for free, uh, they send you the whole product. In this case, they sent you a voucher for the product. Um, so I checked the Freeman Beauty website, which is who makes Seabooth. Uh, as to where to find their products, and every CVS around the city came up. So I checked just about every CVS in the loop, and I still didn't find the product. And finally, I went to Ulta Beauty and South Loop, and I was able to find Seabooth products. So if you're saying, oh, she got the product for free, really, I spent way more than my time just finding the product to review, and this is also the fourth time I've filmed this video because I had some so, now onto the actual product. Uh, this was $10, and it's 32 fluid ounces, so that's quite a bit. Um, I am a lotion addict, I use it every day, so I go through quite a bit of it. Um, I can tell you this is a pretty good deal. Um, so, the reason I picked the lotion though is because it's supposed to be four in one. Um, so it's supposed to exfoliate, hydrate, nourish, and burn. And I was a little curious as to how a lotion was going to exfoliate. Um, and it's nothing like, say, a gel uh, exfoliator where you rub it on and your skin kind of flakes off. Um, I haven't used those before. It, it's nothing like that. Uh, and in fact, I didn't really see that it exfoliated at all, but I knew it just didn't use it long enough. So what it says is malic acid works tirelessly to remove dead skin cells and even out of skin tone, helping some damaged areas look healthy and happy. Um, yeah, so I didn't use it long enough to see if it really exfoliated. I didn't notice that it did. Um, so, and then as far as the lotion itself, I'll show you. It's, a, uh, it's very thin. I have quite dry skin, so I like a little thick the lotion. Um, but it's, for a thin lotion, it, it's very hydrating. And um, so the other thing about, I got the vanilla butter scent, and normally I really like vanilla scented things. This uh, it kind of smells a little strange. Um, almost chemically, if that's weird, maybe that's the malic acid that's in it. But I'm not a huge fan of the scent. It's not awful. I'm still going to use the lotion. Um, but it is free of um, parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, and petroleum, so it's maybe a more natural product than some you might just pick up at the drugstore. So in that regard, I can really like it. Uh, that's my review video. If you've tried Seabooth products, leave me a comment. And I hope to have more videos soon if I stop having technical difficulties, because I don't like having to film things five times to get up. But I hope to have more videos, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!